Sean, what's up? Episode 34. Welcome guys to another episode of Dean and Jai's with Ginny and Nana. Hope all is well. How is everyone? How is everyone? How you guys doing? How's your week been? Very fast. <laughs> I was actually, Monday. no, it was actually really slow. Last oh, yeah, it week was, was slow. really slow. Yeah, well, I think today went really fast. Yeah, today went really fast. Um, but yeah, so today is Monday, the 25th of October. 25th of October. Yes, we're nearly at November. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Two months, this is two months. Um, and it's, it's actually 10 weeks away from 2022. Is it? 10 weeks, 10 weeks. Whoa. 10 weeks. Have you done anything this year? Have I done in the today? Okay, so this, so today's DNM. Um, so I've been just really like contemplating lately, you know what I mean? A lot of yeah. reflecting. I think it's just like with the conversations that I've been having recently. Um, and I actually had a conversation with um, someone, I'm not sure to say back, but um, just about like our journeys. Um, yeah. It's just about like a whole lot of growth and things like that. Um, and there's just one word that kind of like has stuck with me, and that's the word evolve. 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 So today, earlier on Instagram, um, I put up a question sticker thingy and asked, um, you know, what does what comes to mind when you hear the word evolve? Mm. So what comes to your mind, my well, love? Evolve. Before I share the answers that I got. It's not really a familiar though a word that I use in my vocabulary. <laughs> so uh, you know, like I had a bit of a preparation, little preparation to this. But um I don't know, evolve, like growing, uh, mm. changing, change, growing. Um Yeah, and I think just yeah. like over the weekend too, like the events and stuff like Evolving, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's, I think that kind of highlighted it, but yeah, yeah, would you say that? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to share um, some of the responses that I got. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so one of them said new beginnings, growing butterfly light. Um, another person said a caterpillar. Um, the Atonement. Oh, I like that one. Um, another one. Another person said, "Bigger and better, breaking out of the old and into the new." Oh. Uh, God, family, me. Um, another person said, "I envision a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Mm. Slow process, but so beautiful and glorious." Oh. I like that. Um, Another person said, self-love, growth, healing, time. Time, that's a good one. Um, another person said, government and their <laughs> stupid mandates. L-O-L. Oh, I, I did see this one. Um, another one said, we are meant to evolve. Oh my God, you put that in there. Um, we are meant to evolve. Another person said, parenting. That parenting, growth, relationships, um, and another person said grow into something greater. Mm. Mm. Mm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think like the common theme um, that I'm seeing here is, and that's what I think too, is like the caterpillar growing into a butterfly. Yeah. You know, like going from one stage to like another stage. Oh, and I was also talking to a friend earlier today and I asked her, I'm like, oh, what does evolve mean to you? And she said, um, she said changing. She said changing and it's like when you reach a point, like, like that's it, like you don't go back to, yeah. Um, to like a prior, to the person version. you were, but yeah, pri yeah uh, what did I say? Prior version of yourself, yeah. previous version, version of yourself. Anyway, she worded it so much better than I did. But yeah, so like, I feel like, yeah, I love that, like I love- well, I just had a thought. So last night my phone, mm. being, I'm an Apple fan, uh, for those people that are Apple fans, 
you know, I got the iPhone, so I did a what is it called, the iOS update. I don't know, oh, what, yeah. I don't know what version it is, but it's the most latest version. Mm. And so every, I don't know how frequent it is. It's pretty frequent. Yeah, though, very hey. frequent. And there's all they're always updating, you know. Um, so for example, like my phone now, I think it's iPhone X or 10. And so, if you were to have the old iPhone, iPhone 5 or 6, you know, iPhone 6, yeah. and you were to, um, with that phone, with that with that model, if you were to up, update the iOS to the software, the software to the most recent software, your phone will be so much slower. Oh, is it? Yeah, it wouldn't be able to, uh, it wouldn't be able to function as quick oh. because... Because of the memory and the changes um, that comes with the, 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 the recent updates. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's like the phone doesn't, it's capacity. It's like, yeah, it's capacity. It's capacity doesn't, um, it's not able to handle, yeah, handle all the changes. So for example, there's so much changes with privacy settings, there's so many changes with location, mm -hmm. with Facebook, you know. Uh, so would you say it's kind of like putting a engine of a truck fix it. okay. engine of a truck in yeah a so car. yeah so what i'm trying to get at is like you know because apple is being used so much and it's serving so many more people and there's so many changes it's capacity they, they always need to update it but if you have an old iphone your mm. phone will die basically it wouldn't be able to handle all the changes in software So, so, how does that relate to evolving? Well, I think that's us as human beings. I think we're always trying to evolve. I think we're mm. trying to, you know, we're, we're always trying to become better. And there's a pocket right there. Let's go back around. Oh, and uh, if we're not, if we're not careful, or if we're not growing ourselves, we're not mm. going to be able to handle life. You know, life gets heavier and heavier, you know. Would like, you kind of say, like, it's like, for example, um, for example, like even technology, yeah? Yeah. Like the use of the technology. And like, say if our oldies don't, like, learn to how to use it, like, they'll just kind of get left behind. Yeah, 100%. With, like, how to use it. Yeah, 100%. Well, I think life gets heavier, you know. Mm. You have children. You have responsibilities, mm. you, you got a job, if you want to grow in your career, if you want to grow in your relationship, mm. if you're not, what's the word that you got, evolving, mm. you know, then you're not going to be able to handle it. So then how does evolving come about? And I think this is what I wanted to touch on. I think when you're healing, when I've, what I've noticed for myself like this year like you know we're reaching we're reaching the end of the year yeah and i tend to always like start to reflect on like okay what are my goals for next year because i just like to like ponder on it you know yeah. so when it kind of reaches like before it reaches like the new year like yeah. i already have set in stone like yeah. my vision for that following yeah. year yeah. and so for me like just reflecting on like um the relationships that i've um the relationships that I've been able to uh, create and foster. Come oh, These boys are so naggy. <laughs> um. Yeah, I've, like, and I've just like thought about like reflecting on like my healing journey, and I've noticed that like the more that I heal, the more that I recognize on what needs healing, and then when I try and chip away at it and do Be quiet. and try to do the the trauma work, yeah, then it's like I chip away at that old version of me. Mm. And this newer version of me starts to evolve. Yeah. Or starts to like present herself. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I feel like that comes with like with healing. Like the more you heal, the more you learn, the more you address it, 
you're constantly evolving you're constantly growing yeah you know what i mean and like i love how like and it takes time yes. that's part of it it's kind of like a caterpillar yes you know for a while like you know caterpillar, a caterpillar is born then it like you know does its thing with its cocoon yeah that's right and then it emerges over time and then grows. over time it emerges into a butterfly a beautiful yeah. butterfly you know so something so like you know it's not quite pleasing to the eye it's kind of like creepy crawly like a caterpillar but it evolves into something like so beautiful yeah and I feel like that is the that's process. That's the bigger vision. Yeah, that, but, but that's, that's the, the that's the process of healing. That's the process of um, of evolving. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I like how you said before how about like how life gets heavy yeah. with responsibilities. Yeah. And so if, for example, for me, like I'm I'm a mom mm. of five. I'm a wife. I have, you know, we've got. We've got bills, we've got life, we've got, you know, um, church responsibilities and, you know, family um, things and, you know, just whatever whatever other challenges come our way. And if I'm not doing what's necessary to evolve. That's right. Like, I, my capacity, I, like, my, I'm not going to be able to have the capacity to deal with life. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to have the capacity to deal with life. And so I think it's important that, like, to really, like, reflect, you know, see where you're at with your healing journey. Like, sometimes it's it's confronting, you know, some parts of the growing, um, growing process and, um, you know, part of evolving is tough. Yeah. You know? But you've got to face it and you've got to... Yeah, that's right. Like how these kids, are, like how these boys are growing, and they're just so annoying right now. <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah, no, it's so true. Like it's 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 really important, you know. That's why. Yeah, like I think, I think we've had these discussions before. Very similar, kind of very similar topics. Yeah. You know, around um, we've spoken about this. You know, we've spoken about the importance of healing and kind of like. We kind of said like healing quicker, quicker. Quicker. We need to heal quicker because, you know, just like, you know, just like the iPhone, you know, if we're not becoming, uh, we're not growing our capacity, and the load gets heavier and heavier, you know, that's when that's when arguments, tensions. Mm -hmm. you know, but I will say, like, even, like even though healing takes time, I think we shouldn't take our time in trying to. No, I take that back. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard, but like, if we want to, if we do want. You think, do you think healing quicker is a good phrase to use? I don't know if healing quicker is a good phrase to use. Why? Because the healing takes time. Like I don't want, like. Yeah, I, I, yeah, but I, I challenge that. It takes time, but. What is time on? Like, what is like? What, what's the like? If what are what are other variables? What are other variables that will? That, what are other variables that contribute to you healing quicker? Hmm. Other than time. No, I think I think what I mean is is like healing takes time. Yeah. But taking the action to heal. Yeah. Shouldn't take all the time in the world. Yeah. Like like I, I feel like. Yeah, but do you think, like I'm just saying, like, do you think if you were to take action more, yeah, more quicker. like fuel quicker, that you would heal quicker? Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. yeah. So is it time or is it action? Action. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I, I get that phrase, girls. Yeah. Like I get that phrase with people like, yeah, it takes time, but you know, like I think about my journey, my weight loss journey. Mm. It's taken me so long to just be where I am right now. Where yeah. if I just took consistent action, mm. if I just kept doing the same action that got me to lose 10 kilos, to, and I just kept doing it, then Yeah, what? if you just kept doing the hard yards. If I just kept doing the hard yards, I would have been already here work. 10 years ago. Five, you know what I mean? Like, so yes, time is a factor, but, but time, but action, mm. action is a factor too. Mm. 
because see, like for example, they think like I'm, I'm just saying, like they feel like some people will use time as an excuse to kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. prolong the. Yeah, I feel like I've done that too in my journey. Yeah. Where I've been like, oh yeah, it takes time or whatever. Okay, okay, fine. But um, yeah. Another thing with evolving is I feel like as you continue to evolve, as you continue to evolve, I feel like so do so do your priorities and so do your circles. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, um, yeah, I feel like that's something else that happens as you evolve as well. So to wrap this up, what are we what are we trying to say? What are we trying to say? Yeah, no, like what your discussion like had like you said the topic this topic word came out about because of what? Oh yeah, because no, just because of you know, conversations that I've had with with others who are on a journey, um, similar to mine. Yeah. And just like the actions that they've taken. You know, and it's, and it's like, you know, we're talking about like the different stages of life that we've entered into. Do you yeah, know what I mean? For like, example, like. Yes, for example, like you go from um, being single into like a relationship and then from a relationship to like settling down and being married and then being married as a couple then to children, yeah. you know, and with all those phases, like, like if you don't do the trauma work, if you don't do the hard work, the hard, you know, then you won't evolve and you won't have that capacity to um, to keep up, basically. You know, and that's when things start to cave in on you. And so, um, yeah. So I, f I feel like there's that aspect of it, and then. But then I think that what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing, is the importance of healing. Yeah. You know the word. The word uh, evolving is just a basically a technical word of saying, you know, becoming, becoming basically. Mm. It's becoming. Mm. Evolving is becoming. When you're a worm and you, is it a worm? You turn into a caterpillar. What is it? <laughs> what turns into a caterpillar again? A caterpillar turns into a. A butterfly. A butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just becoming. But this is the unique thing. When a caterpillar is born, its potential is to become a butterfly. Is to become a butterfly. So we want to become so butterflies. So human guys. beings, and I believe this to be true, us as human beings, we are born to become gods. Mm. Like spir a spiritual sense, like yeah. you know, I'm, I'm putting my preaching hat on. But as as children of God, we're born. We have been born mm. to become like God mm. and so you know so with that if we, you know if we, that, that, like that is our purpose yeah and you know what I'm just I'm thinking now like on the spiritual just, side babe just breathe just them. breathe it's alright <gasps> let me handle my children it's fine but I'm just thinking now as you're saying that like we have the atonement so we have Jesus Christ and something that I I'm just reminded of is that like he is hope do you know what I mean so I think like we're like if you feel like you're in an early stage of like healing and it and things are just so hard like it is so hard to like just speak to this person or have this conversation or face this truth about yourself and, or whatever it may be like there is hope that things get better there is hope that you can evolve from like that scared, timid version of yourself, hurt scared? version of yourself. Scared. It's pretty strong. Yeah, it's scared. Strong word. It is a strong word because it's a strong feeling yeah. and it's a real feeling. Fear, living out of fear. Yeah, but like there's hope that you can evolve from that version of yourself to a more liberated, peaceful, happier version of yourself. Don't be like, don't, um, I mean, I'm not saying that like, I'm, I said it probably wrong, but like, it's kind of like um, Moana. Mm. Like Moana's dad. Yeah. 
Don't be miners, Dad. Yeah, like yeah. let's not be like miners, Dad. We because because of a a trauma that he experienced, mm. he didn't want to go beyond the reef. He didn't want to go beyond the reef. Mm. So his whole life. He stopped, he, he was stopped. trying to stop exactly. his daughter. He's from living to his Another living example. Another example. Let me tell you another example. What? The Lion King. No. <laughs> the Lion King. Um, what's his name? Coco. 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 Oh, you watch Coco. Coco. I watched it today because the kids. Coco always wanted to be a musician. He loved it. Yes. But because of trauma, because something happened in their family, the grandma, as soon as she seen him with the guitar or mm. even singing or just hanging around with people that were like, that were like musical, like that musicians. Friend, yeah, musicians, like he was in the shoes and then like straight away, like she came and attacked him. Like, mm. but in her mind, she was protecting him. Mm. She was protecting him, so it's just point. But the reality is he had so much potential. And then boom, look at the end of the movie. Moana, look at the end of the movie. Moana, make way. <laughs> but is that evolving? Is that evolving? Yeah, Edox? Yeah. Edox. Yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Some, some examples. Well, you know, we've got kids. So, <laughs> so if this resonates with y'all, just say y'all, um, please drop us a comment. Let us know what um, you took away. Um, remember to like, share subscribe and yeah oh, sorry. <laughs> we love you guys thank you for watching make sure you give us a, li a like and um, yeah hope you guys ex enjoyed this episode amongst all this craziness Lola, do you want to say something still got value. what do you say do you subscribe to my channel ready go come on Lola. all right juju say bye juju bye -bye. say bye Aw, this is so